Okay, there we go. So, uh, welcome to our Twilight for everyone schools, uh, 23, uh, sorry, 24, 25 season. Uh, as I said, really appreciate your time. We're going to go through a few slides, just go through some key messages. If anyone has any questions, you can use the chat function to just type them in rather than um, unmuting and, and, and saying them, if that's okay, please. And then at the end, we've got a section for questions and we'll take all your questions um, as we go. So um, please bear that in mind, use the chat function if, if you've got a question about absolutely anything. And if you want anything in the future as well, please do just get on board with, um, send us an email uh, and we'll happily help you. So in the call today, there's obviously myself, Tom and Amy from F1 in Schools. And then we've also got David, who very kindly agreed to set this up for everybody who's um, the main contact um, for a manufacturing centre and all things F1 in Schools, really. David's been doing the competition for a long time and has been pretty successful with lots of his teams, as of other people probably in this call. Um, but yeah, David's definitely a good go-to person if you're new to the competition. Um, so if you haven't met him before, um, it's definitely good to get to know him. And yeah, I hope you like the picture, David. We found we found that in the archive, so we could use it best representing um, you, hopefully. Um, so I'll keep moving. Um, these are just some of the key messages from from what you need to do or what you should have done. Um, so the initial registration form has been filled out definitely by anyone who's in this call because I've already emailed you on the database. So thank you very much for doing that. You will have also received a link from um, either myself or from Amy um, for our team information. If you're new to F1 schools, this is the second stage of registering to make sure that you're part of a regional final. It gives us the student details, um, some date of births, GDPR, safeguarding, SEN, all those things are really, really important um, just so that we've got everything um, collected so we know who's on site and we've got all that information. So please can you make sure you fill that in and you have to do it once for each of your teams. If you can't find the link, that's absolutely fine. Just get in touch with me or Amy. We'll happily give you that link to fill it in. Once you've filled in your team information, you will receive an email automatically that gives you payment information and also information about our brand new learning channel. So in terms of payments, it's the first year you can do it in an online shop as well, which makes it a lot easier, hopefully, for you and your school. So just get on there, fill all the information in uh, and just pay that way. If you've got any issues with using on online platform, just drop us an email and we can invoice the school instead and do it that way. But we're trying to do as much through the, the automated service, um, if possible, please. Uh, and secondly, the learning channel, it's brand new. It's not got hundreds of bits of information there as yet, but there's two important parts for you. Part one is the teacher role. So when you go to the learning channel link that you get sent and you set up your, um, your profile, make sure you choose the role teacher because what that does is it enables you to have access to all of the information that you're going to need to plan your regional final. So we've uploaded all of the risk assessments that you'll need. Um, we've uploaded um, all of the links to free software, Autodesk, Ansys. The payment link is on there, rules and regulations. Absolutely anything that we could think of that we think you need is in the teacher portal where you'll be able to go in and find any document that, that you might need to, in order to plan, um, to plan your ship. If you've got any issues with logging in or finding the documents, just let us know and we can send them to you. But they are all there. And the other thing that you can do with the learning channel, you can um, send the link to register to your students taking part in F1 in schools and also your wider school if you want to. And there's a bunch of courses on there for the students to take and gain certificates, to do quizzes. So at the moment, we've got um, our Autodesk module where the students can, if they're brand new to Fusion or CAD, they can go in, they can follow all the, the tutorials. And once they've completed the courses, they get a certificate that says that they finished that, which is really nice for them to have and built, put into their CV or they can share it on LinkedIn if that's a platform that they're using if they're older than 13, which is cool. Um, we've got a project management course on there. So again, they can learn all around project management um, and follow the little units. And again, they'll get a bespoke certificate 
once they've completed that. And the plan is that hopefully in the next six months, we'll have loads more modules all in our learning channel. And if you're already registered, you'll be the first people to know because you'll get an email notification just saying, we've uploaded this new content. You can go in and you can learn all about it. So um, hopefully there's content there for the students who are taking part in F1 in schools. And also if you've got other people interested, then you can just send them straight to that channel. Uh, but give us a shout if you need anything linked to any payment information links or the learning channel. In terms of the competition this year, um, just some key reminders, regional finals, the Tayside regional finals on the 6th of November, a Wednesday. Um, so we'll be there from the evening before setting that up. Um, so, so please make a note of, of that if you haven't already, which I'm sure or hopefully you have. And then we're going straight across to Linglifflow, Linglifflow Academy on the 7th of November for our primary, uh, regional final followed by our secondary one on the 8th of November um, so make sure you are booking those in and getting your cover sorted um, if you come in or whoever is is, is aware of that um, you'll get more information in the next few weeks really once we know exactly how many teams are coming we'll be able to give you more um, specific timings for the days um, but yeah drop us an email if, if you need anything from that point of view uh, in terms of um, in terms of uh, the national final, we've booked Magna, that's a spelling mistake, sorry, Magna Science Event Centre again. The primary final's on the 25th of March and the secondary one is uh, two consecutive days, the 26th and the 27th. So you can start putting that into uh, your diaries um, if, if you've got plans or if your team makes it through to, to the national final. Uh, quick checklist um, on... Um, I don't know why the information's not coming up. Here we go. Oh, there we go. So a little checklist for you all for what your teams need to bring on the day. So if you've got an entry class team, they obviously need to bring their car. They need to bring a design engineering portfolio. It's five pages long and a verbal presentation that will last for somewhere around five minutes on a laptop um, so that they can project that in front of the judges. Um, Development class teams need to bring a car, a design engineering portfolio, a verbal presentation, as I previously mentioned, and also a five-page enterprise portfolio and a pit display. And then professional class, a car also, a design engineering portfolio, verbal presentation, enterprise and pit display, but just noting the error there as well, design engineering enterprise portfolios are 10 pages long, so please bear that in mind, um, 10 pages long. Um, for for each of those elements uh, but if you've got any questions leading up to that about any of this content and get in touch and we can help you uh, we can help you out with that in terms of the the actual events regional events the top two development and top two pro class teams will make it to the national finals and then the top three pro, pro class teams will make it or be invited to the world finals um, there's an asterisk there depends on how many we've got new countries coming on all the time depends on our hq on how many places they want to give us if they give us more then often we give the top scottish champion and the top welsh champion a place as well but that is asterisk right there so um, please just bear that in mind for this season when talking to your teams you also have access here to Young STEM Leader Award, which I know some of you do and some of you hopefully might be interested. You can be auto awarded um, for, for taking part. So um, development class teams just taking part at a regional final can get an auto award um, for, for level four. If you make it through to national finals, um, then development class team can get auto awarded level five and um we used to do a world finals place for development class team if that happens depending on places you can get auto awarded level six and then professional class auto awarded level five and uh, for for regionals and professional class auto awarded level six for a national final so um it's definitely worth doing for your students there's a link here in the, in the powerpoint that i'll share with everybody in the call um for more information um, if you want to follow that up and if you want to uh, get auto or if your students want to be auto awarded for anything that they've done. These are just links to resources that you'll have one in the learning channel two, just as reminders, the tutorials, rules and regs, twilights are really useful. 
Um, you've already registered, so you can ignore that. And any equipment you might want to purchase is, is on is on that link that you can see there as well. In terms of rules and regs, just remember the entry class and development class technical regula regulations are brand new for this year with the halos. So please do bear that in mind. You also get access to Autodesk and Ansys um, software completely for free. Hopefully you're already starting to design your cars and to use some of that software. But if you want, the links are there for that. And finally, um, you want to make your cars. Now, some of you will be making them in-house. It should be great. Some of you will want some support with manufacturing your cars. And you can do that with any of our Center of Excellences or our manufacturing centers. But the closest one to you and the reason or the main reason for this call today to inform you of that is for me to bring in David Marshall, who is going to talk through everything that he offers and support and costs for you to have your cars manufactured with him if you don't have a cnc machine or 3d printers so david thanks very much for jumping on the call and for setting this up and sharing it around your contacts um i'll leave it and hand it over to you just shout next slide i'll move it along for you thanks tom uh well, thanks for joining us here and obviously i'm here to support you guys as much as possible uh, and progressing along with your journey in F1 in schools. I've been doing it for a few years and I've got a good bit of equipment down here. Uh, so really, what can we do uh, and what we, can we do to support you? Quite happy if you've got a team uh, and you want me to manufacture the car to jump online with you for uh, 15 minutes, half an hour, uh, and have a little bit of a look at the CAD files that you've got for your car. Uh, that can probably save a little bit of pain later on uh, as we talk about capabilities that are out there uh, and what can and can be manufactured and any kind of sticking points uh, that are that are in there. So sometimes worthwhile just to have a wee chat with the team, have a wee look at your car uh, and make sure that there's nothing in there that is impossible for me to manufacture. Uh, you're more than welcome to come here and test. Uh, we've got a track if you want to come here over Friday afternoon. We are uh, generally free on a Friday. We are not in school on a Friday, so happy to hang around until about half past, uh, well, till about half past three. Uh, if you want to come anytime from one to half three, you set up the track. Uh, we'll pretty much leave you alone to go and uh, shoot some cars down there, just pay for the cartridges that you use. We've got boxes of them in there. Uh, but that's really just covering the costs that are in there. And while you're here, if you want to have a look at any of our previous team's folios, then you're more than welcome to, to browse through them. I've got a couple of World Finals folios here. Uh, I've got a few from Dev class, a few from Entry class. Uh, I'm not I'm not really, I don't keep everything myself. I think in terms of what we're offering, if, you, if we publicise what we've got, then it makes our teams better and makes lifts up the standard in terms of what we've got here in Scotland. Uh, so I think anyone that's in here uh, or anyone that's been to Linlithgow Academy for one of those kind of test afternoons, uh, they've they've picked up a, a lot and they've uh, they've seen some of our better folios, uh, which is nice to have out there. Manufacturing, uh, as I said, I'm happy uh, to manufacture your cars. What I do ask is that you give me a decent amount of time on that one. Uh, I've got a team going to World Finals, which is a week and a bit after uh, after the Scottish regionals. Uh, so the earlier you can get a car to me, uh, then probably the more chance you've got it being built on time. Ask for two weeks anyway as a lead time from the point that you order the car to the point that you would expect to receive it. I would want my car delivered in school at least a week before the competition so you can do any finishing and any final manufacturing uh, to that body. Uh, if you want to come here and cut a car, uh, then I'm more than happy to support that as well. Depending on the complexity of the car, it takes probably about 40 minutes uh, per, side, per side to cut uh, to, get a, to get a decent quality finish on it, to leave not too much sanding. Uh, if you do want something cut, then send me some basic drawings, basic dimensions, uh, of some key component parts that allows me to make sure that I'm uh, I'm cutting to uh, to what you expect. Uh, send those drawings as a PDF and a basic SDL file of the car. That's fantastic to get your students to do. 
uh, get the drawings done, get the SDL file done, get them across to me because you need to submit the drawings for scrutiny and on race day anyway. It's something you're going to have to do. So ping them on and 3D printing. I have got an FDM machine here uh, and uh, we can we can get that up and running. We can we can 3D print your parts, whether you want halos or drivers or any of the standard components then we can that we can sort you out as well. I've also got a resin machine. Uh, the resin machine probably gives you a little bit of a better surface finish, uh, but you're you're losing out on weight in that one. So I'll give you a choice whether you want resin or whether you want FDM parts or, or both what's in there. In terms of costs, uh, we just basically look to cover what we're doing in here. 3D printing, parts are now really going to be more than the fiver. Wheels, axles, uh, bushes, tetherline guides, all those bits that you need for dev class and uh, entry class, I'll chuck them in the chuck them in the bag for uh, for a fiver, and car cutting the way that I set up uh, the car cutting up there is basically a tenner to run through the setups into the machine and check that everything's good, and then ten pound per side that's cut. So if you're doing me a basic entry or dev class car, uh, then it's twenty pound for a first one, and probably ten pound thereafter. If you're doing me a complex pro class car, then you're probably looking twenty thirty quid for your first one and then £20 uh, thereafter. Uh, I like to send out cars that are a decent quality. I don't always get them right first time. Uh, so just uh, cover my costs in terms of model blocks that are on there. Always post them, Royal Mail next day delivery, uh, and that seems to come in about £7.95, whether it be one, two, three car bodies uh, that are sitting in there, uh, and try and get that one out to you guys as soon as possible after we after we get it. As I said, two-week lead time, uh, but often I can get it done in a day or two, depending on how busy the router is. As we get closer to competition, then the router uh, the router gets busy, and it can only really be used when I'm not teaching in this uh, in this room, because it's quite noisy. Uh, well, so we got uh, any questions, I think, uh, that we've got yeah, out no. there? Thanks. Thanks for that, David. I just want to jump in and just say that um, obviously David does all this outside of his own time on top of He's not a paid person here. This is all voluntary to help um, to help everybody. So, you know, massive thanks to David for offering this to everybody. Um, and we do also have somebody um, in Scotland as a backup. So if David does get really busy and everyone wants to use him, which is brilliant, we've got somebody else who can help. So don't panic about getting stuff in, but we obviously need to work to the timelines because David's obviously got his normal job <laughs> to complete, i.e. teaching and all the other bits that go with it um, alongside alongside doing this and getting all your cars manufactured as well. So so just bear that in mind. Um, so yeah, I don't, I, th there's nothing actually that's come into the chat uh, in terms of questions. Um, so me and David and Amy, we will stay around. Um, we will share the PowerPoint with you and I will share the recording. So if you want to share it um, or with any of your students or if you wanted to just remind uh, yourself of anything that, that was chatted about in um, in the twilight, then then you will have a link to that. Um, but if not, we don't want to keep you longer than than is necessary. So we did put an hour down. But, you know, if, if you're ready to go and you've got everything you need from it, then please do leave and, and get the rest of your evening back. Um, but if you do have questions, stay in, stick them in the chat function um, or put your hand up and we can unmute you and uh, you can ask the question. Um, but if not, thank you very, very much for your time. Can't wait to see you all, um, especially at our new regional in Tayside. That's going to be really, really uh, exciting, but also, uh, um, you know, everyone at the Lift Go as well. Oh, so we've got one question there, David, is... Quick question, how did you get the funding for your router and your 3D printers, David? I love that question. Uh, the router was here when I got here, uh, and that was that was 10 years ago uh, that the kind of came in there. And my 3D printers are all byproducts of doing F1 in schools. Uh, so any kind of fundraising we've done, uh, chatting with uh, then with uh, anything excess, then we allow the kids to decide what we're going to buy uh, with the money. Uh, also got one donated by a parent uh, of a, one of our uh, former kids that were doing this. So, yeah, most of the, the kit was either here when they got there or it's, uh, it's, been, it's been through fundraising through, through our young people. 
Thanks for that, David. Uh, anyone got any more questions? Okay. Like I said, feel free to go, get your evening back, crack on with whatever you need to do or go and see your families. Um, but yeah, if you've got any more questions, um, please, please just stay in the chat. If not, um, as I said, really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. It looks like looks like there's one coming there. Uh, just for the kids, if they make it along for test cartridges, how much are they? Uh, five in a box of ten. Or 50 pence each. How many would a, a student typically want to use, David, with you if they come down? What's a good amount for them to purchase if they were going to come? Oh, that's a that's an interesting question. Uh, how long does the car last uh, when it's a prototype? Uh, and that's probably a fantastic uh, learning experience for the young people that's coming in there. Uh, some some folk will, will stick down at least a box of cartridges and get a bunch of data. Uh, other folk will stick a cartridge in it and uh, the car will disintegrate as it makes its way down the track. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, that depends on. Uh, it depends how well how well the car's built, how many cars that they've brought with them to test, um, and what the parameters in there. But I would probably say a, a box of cartridges more than does it. Thanks, David. Yeah. Any more? There are some dots dancing on the screen. Are there alternative ways to test if we're not able to make it along to you before the regional finals um, is a good question. Um, thanks, for that, Rube. So you can make up any ways to test your car however you want to, basically. Um, so it doesn't have to be tested on an F1 school's track. Part of the student challenge will hopefully be for them to come up with some of their own testing methods. That might be through scrutineering um destructive testing themselves absolutely anything that you can think of um and it's about trying to think outside the box because the judges have probably seen it all and they definitely see everybody trying to use tracks and things like that so if there's other inventive ways that the students can come up with that that definitely is um a good way of testing um out the car um next question hannah Thanks for info. Uh, ah, so what is actually needed for a car? So you don't need the parts that I think David's talking about around. So you you will manufacture like a car body, which is made from a model block. Um, the students will then um, add axles and we uh, and axle bushes and wheels to the car, um, and they're just the extras that come with it. I think that's what um, we're talking about in terms of the cost. So to manufacture the actual middle of the car, the model block itself, so like the main body, that's £10 per side, and then it's £5 just for the extra bits that go with that. If you wanted to just buy the kit from F1 in schools, yeah, I think it's £23 to buy um, the full kit, so it's actually, David's doing a pretty decent price to make it as well at the same time from that point of view, so buying in bulk is definitely helping there. Um... Will the halo be provided along with the wheels and axles? I, I, Mr. Marshall, I'm guessing you'll be 3D printing a load of halos and stuff like that, and you're happy to, to provide those? I just let me let me know what you need. Uh, I'll print a bunch off in white and in black, uh, yeah. and hopefully, hopefully that will that will satisfy the need for you to for you to finish it yourselves. Yeah, yeah. Just right. let me know so, what you want. Halos will be included there then, so that's that's fairly straightforward for David to do. It's obviously just a bit more time, so um, yeah, just just bear that in mind uh, when you're sending things like that across. Um, yeah, any other questions? Looks like we haven't got, if anyone needs any more clarification. Oh, great. Perfect. Well, it's nice to see that everyone seems happy. Um, I guess the key thing is, is if, if there's something, even something small, just email email myself and Amy. We will help you as, as much as possible with absolutely anything that you need. And then obviously your manufacturing needs, just email 
David, Marshall, with, with just enough time from that point of view. But as I said, we'll share everything with you, including uh, email addresses. Um, so if you need anything, um, just let us know um, before that point. And uh, if you've got any issues with forms, payment, again, just give us a shout and we'll sort you out. But if not, hope you all have a lovely evening. And um, yeah, happy Friday tomorrow. The weekend is nearly here. I think I've seen one more. There was a little bit of typing going on in the background there, Tom. So, okay. yeah, well, uh, yeah. As I said, me, me and David, and we'll stay on for the next ten minutes. So, if you haven't got any questions, please leave and enjoy your evening. If you do, just stay behind, and we can mop those questions up. Hi, sorry, can anyone hear me? Simply can.